Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Randy back with another video. And today I have a fragrance haul from fragrancenet.com and it is in the category of gourmand scents, but still masculine. And they are Paco Rabanne's Black XS and Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord. Today I'm going to be doing two videos, part one and part two. And part one is going to be Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord. I have tried the original The Scent. I am not a fan, so I'm going into this blind. So I heard that there is a major difference between this and the original scent, so I guess that we will see. So as far as the presentation is concerned, you have the silhouette of the bottle, the embossed Boss logo, the scent, private accord, size and concentration, eau de toilette and 100 milliliter. On the back, it says an addictive twist of the original fragrance, exquisite notes of ginger, exotic maninka fruit, sophisticated mocha, and magnetic cocoa absolute combined to seduce the senses. And then on the bottom, you have your batch code, which is 0281. Let's get the bottle out of here, get this video rolling. So it looks just like all the other scent ones, a very nice, luxurious looking bottle. It has a different color juice as expected. Pop off cap, waste a few sprays here for you. Oh, I like that already better than the scent and scent intense. I can smell it already. While I'm waiting for that to digest on my skin, I'm gonna tell you the full note breakdown. Top notes are ginger and bergamot. Mid notes are coffee, maninka fruit, pepper, and pineapple. And the base notes are cacao, vanilla, woody notes, patchouli, amberwood, and benzoin. Uh, what I can already smell off my skin, I can tell you that the top notes say ginger and bergamot but I don't smell really any bergamot. If I do, it's like so far in the background, it's not really noticeable. What I get, and it's amazing, it's very gourmand, which I wasn't expecting because I didn't re read many reviews about this. It is a semi-sweet milk to dark chocolate, kind of like a mix between the two. And then I get a little background of ginger and that's pretty much it. Nope. Okay, so we're about 30 seconds into spraying this on my skin and I'm getting a little bit of coffee note on top. Um, it's coming through and it's coming through very nice. Uh, it's mixing with that chocolate and it is mixing with that ginger. The ginger's kind of pulling through a little bit. I really like this opening. It is a very masculine gourmand semi-sweet fragrance so far. I don't really get much of the spice in it that I've heard about, but we will see. I will be back in about six hours to tell you my full presentation as far as what it is like, how long it projects, how the longevity, all of that. All right, so it's been about six and a half hours and I can tell you that this scent has changed, but it hasn't gotten any worse. It is an amazing, absolutely amazing addition to this line. So far, I can smell it on my skin. Again, I'm about six, six and a half hours in and it's probably still about 90% potency compared to what it was after the first like 20, 30 seconds. I can tell you that in that time frame, and as of right now, throughout the dry down, about 20 minutes after I sprayed it, I, the cocoa started to dissipate and go into the background. Uh, it turned into like more of a spicy, semi-sweet scent. Didn't really get much of the pineapple, I did. The coffee and the ginger started to come to be the forward notes mixing with a bit of that semi-sweet maninka fruit. I don't really know what maninka fruit smells like per se, but I know what the original scent smells like. I know what that semi-sweet note smells like from that scent, and that's what I'm pulling here, but in a much well done way compared to the original and the scent intense. I can say that the coffee, the ginger, they mix really well together with the maninka. I get a little hint of the vanilla and a little bit of woods, to create this sensual, spicy, yet semi-sweet scent that is very nice. Um, for the people who don't like the scent or scent intense like I don't, uh, I would say that you should go out and at least sample this because it is a very, very, very good scent. Um, and, and again, I'm only about six and a half hours in, but I can say the projection lasted maybe about two to two and a half hours. Um, the longevity as far as right now it's about six and a half hours and I'm still going strong. So for an eau de toilette and from the boss line, I'm actually very surprised by that. I'm gonna guess probably more in the seven to nine hour range here, 
but I'll, I'll comment in my video to let you know what I did experience. Um, but really, it's much better than the OG. It is a nice winter, fall, cold weather fragrance that I really wouldn't really differentiate between what time of day it should be worn. I think it's really focused on just the cold weather. And if it's cold weather, I'd say it's all day long scent. But yeah, if you guys uh, enjoy this video, again, it's about the boss, the scent, Private Accord. It's a very nice chocolatey gourmand fragrance that turns into a semi-sweet, spicy fragrance. It's very nice. And again, if you like this video or this type of content, please like and subscribe. I am doing a giveaway at 50 subscribers, and then I'm also going to be doing a full bottle giveaway at 100 subscribers. So thank you for tuning in. You guys have a great day.